Mary. Acha ulijiona ukiwa hapa. Kai, mimi sikujiona. And you know old si darau penye uko. If it's a good even if it's paying you whatever, mm. pay like another episode and today we are talking about well, I, I don't even know how to repress it in, in like a topic uh, but uh, it's about you know our journey mm. especially you know our career and mm. what we are chasing right now mm-hmm. so we want to talk about you know when is too much too much mm. for you mm. Yeah, where where do you like feel like okay, this is too much. I, I like shouldn't where do you give draw up the line? Yeah. yeah, should I give up? Should I yeah. continue? Mm. Okay, I think it's a good topic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh considering I mean kila mtu say ana chase dream yake. Yeah. It's really a nice topic. Mm. I don't know twanzi or wapi. Uh I feel we're focusing on careers today, so no. Yeah. So guys, uh when do you feel like kwa life yako you chased your career but you're like it's not working out mm. things are really not working out yeah like it's been maybe even years and years of trying yeah. and things are really just completely not working out yeah so and also there is pressure from people and there's also pressure from you yourself wait parents tuanze mm. hapo there's pressure from wazae tuanze tu wazae na wakweli you know when you know. they're like especially if they're still supporting mm, you in mm, some way because mm. it's not working mm. so you have to still come to them mm. once in a while they are like help me out here mm. rent nini nini mm. so it becomes not a it's almost like a burden because yes you're chasing your dreams but been a like you're not independent mm. financially you know I think uh talking of actually chasing your dreams kuna mm. yenye you are chasing your dreams yeah you expected the, these expectations from your parents yeah. you have your own expectations of yourself the expectation of the society mm-hmm. in general mm-hmm. could satisfy all those three parties and then there's you because yeah. you are the one being frustrated exactly that's why there's some three parties there's mm. you there's your parents there's the society mm. and you have to satisfy almost all the parties i know yeah cuz um how do i put it i think kila am say aki grow up uli enda uki change what you want to be yeah. i remember it i wanted to be a, who, a doctor <laughs> hey, <laughs> me aki you don't even want PR. to know but i feel like in all stages i kept on coming back mm. to media but kuna kuna times yenye mara una una feel kidogo na sema okay i will be a chef mm. you ingine okay i'll be a genius you know nini, nini like you keep on changing it but mm. i feel like at the end i always knew from you know people wonder how can you be in like class 5 yeah. and want to be a journalist because mm. people don't dream of that when they are too young Where? they dream of Simple law <laughs> nini, nini. <laughs> so i feel like it was always there but mm. sasa nile when you grow up life ina kwa crazy mm. you say ah hiyo haitaweza mm. let me just do this I think you know. for me the moment I actually realized I have a passion for writing yeah was because I was quiet I mean I used to write a lot mm. my diary yeah. so I think it took me years to actually notice what I really like mm. that was writing and then also at a, with writing I didn't know exactly what I still wanted yeah, to what be you, yeah I didn't know if I wanted to be a news writer or a journalist mm, or anything editor yeah an editor like a magazine yeah I was still very confused yeah I had to actually ningie uni uh go through at least uh, a few suggestions mm. and uh 
a few advices mm. which yeah. i i thank god actually yeah yeah because i'm glad i did that actually on that note when you're saying you fi- you figured it out in campus mm. do you ever like beat yourself up ile, like if you could have started like way yeah. back ungekuwa mbali because i feel like many youths tell themselves that mm-hmm. so yeah, make a mark on it talent ama nini ngisema ningekuwa nimeanza ilikuwa 15 sai you know because the perception it it takes long mm. to reach there mm. so it's like if you started earlier sai by 24 ama 25 you should have <laughs> I remember there is quite one episode one of our episodes yeah. we talked about a, a section in your career mm. and I remember saying I think ninge when you need to I want to do PR ama when you need suggest your PR yeah I I thought your time to me I thought I could have put more effort yeah. and I would have been maybe further but really mm. going back like sai penye niko I actually thank God for the process kwa sababu yeah. I I wasn't talkative. Yeah. It took step step by step. Mm. It took um Dr. Chalo mm. for me to actually gain my confidence. my confidence. Yeah. I started doing speeches mm. in confidence. I mean, ili ni take ni grow pole pole. Mm. So I don't blame myself. So I take Plus, it back. Plus you happen at the right time, mm. you know. So I actually mm, actually I'm like, okay with it. Yeah, I feel mm. like people say that but were you even ready at that time? Mm-hmm. You know when you say 15 years, what, what did you know at that time? Yeah, plus it, it really yeah. depends. Yeah. Background yako, what what were you and how your are journey, you? It your can't journey, be like for it can't be the same. Mm. Yeah. So going back to careers and mm. uh, our topic yeah. before to divert. I mean, for example, CC, mm. we we've done PR. Yeah. But truth be told, you're not you're not doing PR right now yeah. in your job. I'm not mm. doing PR. Mm. But it's still something you want to do. Yeah. So, you, know, yeah. you want to do journalist, you want to be a journalist. I maybe I want to be in a PR nini, PR agency. Uh, yeah. Like how do you feel about it? Una feel ni kitu una struggle nayo ama ni kitu yenye it's working out for you eventually. How do you feel and what are you doing even towards about towards it? I think for me it's the uncertain uncertainty mm-hmm. cuz yes you're working on it on the sidelines but you know a career should not be on the sidelines yeah. it should be something you're focusing on mm. like fully mm-hmm. so kuna hiyo doubt ya okay if i'm not focusing on it like nitafika hapo kweli bali nataka so kuna hiyo like dilemma ya should i really leave what i'm doing and just focus on my career of which peer that's a risk because mm-hmm. you don't know if it will make it mm-hmm. I'm a peer you're wasting time yeah. so it's it's crazy it's crazy actually and it you know there's a way it messes with your mind ile yeah. like okay what am am i doing here mm-hmm. you know doing a job that you never like you never went to school for mm-hmm. and then also it pays your bills so where's it to am okay I'm let me go and chase my yeah. dreams you know But that people do that. Yeah. That people wake up and, and I feel quit. like it's it's <laughs> it's worth it it's in a way brief. because everything that you really put your mind to and everything you put everything in I don't think it can fail. Do you know honestly. how I feel you about it? You refuse to fail. Do you know how I feel about it? Yeah. Um me I have you to thank Kwanza because mm. somehow I feel like I'm doing what I at least I studied for. Yeah. This is we do this for passion yeah. but then at the same time we're still chasing what we actually like which yeah. is PR and journalism mm. so at the end of the day I learned how to edit yeah I learned like I've learned a lot of soft skills that siku learning for sana especially with corona yeah. yeah so I didn't get to learn a lot of things but then with our platform yeah. I've learned a lot mm-hmm. I've become more and more confident yeah unaona so i it feel even like in a co open yeah, like other doors in way, in a way that say me if you're going for an audition mm. ama nini you're not that shy yeah. anymore mm. you're confident because yeah. you're used to the camera yeah plus yeah. you you're chasing your dream cuz kwa sababu you've done a lot of uh, short films yeah yeah you're working on your second short film you also like uh, auditioning for different uh, roles yeah. so i feel like you don't and have I used to, to be put... very shy <laughs> very actually uli jono kiwa hapa kai mimi sikujiona and you know audio is different because you record yourself mm. and then there's no cameras mm. so may you go to a silent place and you just record your voice mm. you know but camera is different because mm. there's 
you in a camera, how you talk, your body language, everything. Mm -hmm. And people might even come for you. Maybe you see how podcast people come for, like the hosts. Yeah. Do you your reaction and everything? Mm. So it's not that easy, but as you get used to it, in a quatu, like part of your life. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think, same, to same, to like, um, ni hypothetic mm. call. Yeah. So, for example, it, it's been an year, and mm. yes, you're doing everything for the podcast, and you're not seeing, like, the fruits that you wanted. Mm. D- like, how much is too much? Hey, may give up. First of all, I think, let's just use this podcast as an example. Let me yeah. use it. Yeah. For me, it has become now a passion. Mm. Whether a journey Nililala two hours yeah. <laughs> or not, I'll still dedicate myself, wake up, yeah. come, and we'll shoot. Because yeah. for me now, it's not about, I'm not chasing any. Yeah, I, I really want to get there. I mm. want to get to the cloud and earn money uh, from this platform. Yeah. But then at the end of the day, it's still something uh, I love. Yeah. So I don't feel like I'm like I'm struggling to do yeah. it. So may I'd say. And you're trusting the process. Yeah, I'd say. There's a career and there's passion. Mm. If your career and the passion align, it's, yeah. e- it's a bit easier. Mm. And then it's easier It's, it's easier to maneuver. Mm. So I don't have to quit my job because to have a podcast. Yeah. No, no. And True. I'm not really completely depending at he to a more can I podcast mm. so that I make it. No, no. Mm. But then it's what I want. Mm. Yes. So I'm still going to push. To push. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't... I don't know if if something happens, God forbid, at here to Japika up or within a few years, mm. and I feel like I don't know. Si jinta kwa na filaji your time, mm. but then I don't I don't feel like I, it's something I can give up on. Yeah, yeah. It's it's now become part of my life. Like Nikki kosa kushoot in a week. Unaskia. Ah, unaskia. Stacey, Stacey, we have to check. Imagine, <laughs> imagine we have to shoot <laughs> <laughs> to kona yeah. video next week. Cause yeah. I'm like, okay, mm. why? Like why? Yeah, and I remember, like my parents, my mom to be specific. Mm. My mom wasn't really in for this. I was like, okay, una shoot ina kupedo. I was like, apana. Iki tu naifanya for passion. I don't know how many times I said this. Yeah. Like I think I used to say it every time. Iki enda home, mama ni mimi sana mamaangu. Lazima ni ulize na ulize kama. It's the same answer, but she ask. Yeah. Until skumoja. There's a place I used to work. Let me go, let me not say the organization. Mm. So I used to work. And it was really difficult because they were, they were not paying me anything. Yeah. So, so one day they asked me. I don't know how they came to know that I, I have Nini. We have a Nini. A podcast. A podcast. Yeah, so can you, Lisa, have you posted anything about the organization on your podcast? And I was like, no. You know, <laughs> then I realized this thing is actually very relevant. Yeah. yeah people, are, people are watching. People are so watching. So there are people who are actually watching. Mm. And then also uh, I've actually come to learn that these... Uh, a colleague of mine that I don't know mm. that follows our podcast like every week, yeah. bumper to bumper. So maybe I'm not inspiring the world, mm. but I'm inspiring but there are someone. Few people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy You're about okay, it. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay with it. Mm. As long as I'm changing one person's life or I'm making someone happy, mm. I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like impact is everything. Yeah. If you feel like you're creating impact, because mm. you see, it's not based on, oh, you're chasing, maybe cloud time, you're chasing, oh, ati nataka flani anione. You know, mm-hmm. I want my friends to see. Yeah. You're doing it for other people. Mm. And it's not in a good way. Because yeah. if you're doing it for other people in a way that you want to impact them, mm. that's different. Yeah. But if you're doing it for ule kaheta flani anione, squeezing kona podcast, <laughs> I make sense, and soon enough you'll just quit. Yeah. So your point to me make your passion. I feel like that's how people never give up. Mm. Mm. five years mm. in something, mm-hmm. it just doesn't happen to people who are not passionate. Yeah. You will give up at some point. Mm. So I feel like passion is really a, a great point of mm. when is too much. Because if you really love it, I swear you'll wait for it. Yeah. You will. <laughs> Yeah. Plus, I, when you're talking about my passion and uh, career, if your career is in a passion, yako, mm. it's a bit easier. Mm. Though, kuna time, let's talk yeah. of reality. Yeah. So you're working at this place, mm. or you've actually completely desi- decided, rather, mm. you may decide, let me just 
quit my job mm. let me focus on this yeah this is my career and this is my passion let's say you are a photographer yeah yeah or a videographer mm. you've decided this is what i'm focusing on but mm. then una it's years mm. it's a year it's the, it's the second year and it's not paying it's, it's not, not paying, paying. The bills. no no struggle and you know people are struggling yeah you're really struggling mm. so una jipata kwa situation where you have to go back mm. maybe start looking for a job again mm. and then unajua pia ime imearibu mentality yako mm. imearibu stability yako ulikuwa na expectations zime zime, zime eh. like so you like so ime, ime uko, mess na mental health yeah. kabisa so at that point you're struggling hata kama utapata job mm. una struggle ku juggle job and what you what your passion is mm. and i think that's when people give up on their passion yeah they just decide you know what mm. let me just let it be yeah uh, nimepata hapa job uh, cci let me work ni kwe mm. ni ni pande juu ni pande hey. juu mpaka nifikie management i'll just stick there cuz really i'm a photographer and it's really not it's not working for me yeah so kuna hiyo time inafika mm. so i think that's where our topic comes when do you actually decide I need to maybe let go maybe breaking point mm. like ile like, oh, I'm tired of it maybe I feel like you know Pia as much as we say there's no pressure and ages are and there is. I feel like same umeanza kwa 24 and now you're like 35 mm. and you're still upcoming man say everything is just like akuna progress I feel like for me progress is my breaking point if I feel like there's really nothing progressing cuz i really like to see even if it's small mm. i like to see progress yes. i'm obsessed with progress exactly yeah mm. so i feel like if i in imeka like too long and it's not even about long mm. it's about imeka too long and mm. there's nothing going on mm. you are just there vile tu ulikuwa 24 34 it's the same mm. i feel like that will break me i will be like hi maybe i should strategize and mm-hmm. go back to what i think i should do and mm. not what i thought m- was my passion um i have i think i have a couple of points mm-hmm. umesema umesema first to be some progress mm. yeah i think at a cc as mm. much as we're saying this is our passion we've seen a lot of progress mm. video z2 at first because number i think 50 50, 50 yeah. yeah we're now at 100 unaona like hiyo ni motivation yeah, see at it. this motivation oh unataka yende 300 yeah, yeah kuna this, pia ile like progress yeah. yeah na progress ni one step at a time unaona mm. so kuna hiyo like umesema kama uni progress mm. like it's your yeah for me it's my it's, at, it's your turn off mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but then these um i'm forgetting the book but then il kuna sema if if uh, you have you have uh, something you want to achieve you have a goal mm. but what really matters is the system yeah so yeah. i don't i don't think you should necessarily give up on it mm. but you can try change the system just because you haven't achieved your dream now mm. for example cc tumetoka uni ndo hiyo tunafanya job places in you we didn't even study for mm. but then if you can get an opportunity to work towards getting there then yeah. try yeah. Una, if you can set goals useme within 3 uh, years i want to try ni grow ni ende maybe kwa department department ya management mm. maybe department ya ma- management ya organization what can i introduce i introduce pr mm. una they don't have a pr department kwa management i introduce the pr department yeah. you see you have a goal una yeah. so you are heading there i'm not saying it will directly fall into place yeah. but then jaribu ku change system yeah. another thing ni for example maybe our podcast enge kuna get any progress mm. what i think we would have done before we give up is change the system Mm. maybe topics in it unasema ni too common you know yeah. so everyone have seen whatever we are talking about yeah. so it's everywhere yeah. so why don't we change maybe our topics because for us i think we took a totally different uh, direction usikuwa tunataka kufanya kikenye kila mse ana do you know na i think it's the, gap. Yeah. Mm. i think it's the same reason why i haven't i didn't start my youtube channel because mm. i was like everyone is doing this mm. everyone is doing this what can i do that is yomon, a yo, bit different yomon kuna it's a dif- it's a certain way it's monotonous yeah yeah so nezaje break your mono- monotony yeah. yeah how can i break it so i think uh, if something is not working for you 
try change the system. Yeah. Yeah. You go try back change to the, the drain system. Go, go back to the drain board. Mm. Try to check your system. System mm. yangu inaendaje. Mm. Maybe I've been doing A B C D. Maybe I should be I, I should be doing C and D. Yeah. Maybe A and B are not working. Mm. Let me do C and D. No, yeah. no. Cuz sometimes if you just change the system, it will work. Another thing is maybe it's not working for you right mm. now, but penye uko inaweza kukusaidia grow. Unaona? Mm. Like for example, we can't say our, our jobs are useless. Yeah. Sindo imesaidia kubuy equipment. Yeah. Unaona? So, I was just trying to yeah. say that I think also things that we don't understand, dreams needs finances. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like without finances ni, ni like extra hard yeah. kuenda ta a step ahead mm. ata took a step kadogo because mm. the moment you see maybe your dream is not working maybe you should go get a job yeah. ama using your papers to mm. get a job ukipatia your job of course it's not your path yeah. but you use the money you save up for your dreams mm. in a way that you invest i was mm. looking at an interview kdb was saying that at some point she knew the real reality is music will not work so i have to go get this money oh. to invest in yeah. music because mm. this always is in the struggling rapper mm. you don't even have money for nice music mm. videos mm. proper studio yeah. sessions mm. so you just become realistic in a way that always focus on this now and then uh, there is something i saw yeah. nikituma f- from my applications i apply a lot of jobs yeah i've noticed they tell you this there's a link part they tell you if you have any other curricular activities you do yeah. anything you do outside uh, outside your normal job mm. just send the link mm. so i usually send my uh, i used to send my nini my in um, my writing nini yeah link and then for this podcast yeah. so usidani it's useless just mm. because you're at at that uh, that position right now yeah just don't think it's useless yeah. and then i think also pia some things are just meant to help you grow mm. for example where i where i where i work right now i've really grown because i've interacted with different kind of um stakeholders yeah. different people completely different people i didn't even know i had interact with mm. and i've grown mm. i've grown a lot mentally in my leadership skills i've learned also a lot i've made a lot of mistakes at mm. the same time i've also learned it also kind of humbles you mm. na inakurudisha back na kwamba by the way you need to work on this yeah. and you need to work on this so i think it's one step at a time mm. we see kit kit which was easy and that's when you are yeah so you have to just life. pole pole too mm. yeah so it's hard it's, it's really tough mm. yeah i don't know and then i think let me talk let me let me go back to my i'm going to say jena uh you are writing sides in itwangaje mtakata hiyo part mhm but there's also time mm. sometimes you need some time off mm. that's allowed yeah doesn't mean you've you given need to up. Re- yeah say to me fully give up yeah. on it but you need a break because you, you break. know peer stress is real yeah yeah because i remember for now i think i don't i i haven't written in a long time yeah the last time i wrote in the family media mm. so no yeah that was my right my last writing yeah yeah it was a good one but then it was a bit of my last yeah because for me writing is very personal yeah so when and i you when i sit just down write. yeah when i sit down to write i just don't write yeah and i think that's why uh i don't know watching a lot of movies has taught me that uh it doesn't mean that just because you've stopped something and paused doesn't mean you've given up on it mm. sometimes you just need a break to step back and just reevaluate reevaluate things yeah. and then maybe bre- um get yourself together mm-hmm. you see because mm. for me uh, writing is really sacred so whatever i write i have a reason why i'm writing mm. and it has to pass a message to to whoever i'm writing to unaona mm. i have a specific audience so it has to speak to my audience and when i feel like i'm writing and it's not speaking to my audience i have to pause unaona mm. and then do you adulting do you stress yeah. so i think i too i've taken a really long break mm. and it's okay it's okay to take a break Yeah, it's, do you're not human. Yeah. You're human. So it's okay to take a break. It's okay. Yeah, things happen. 
Yeah, things usiku happen. Zileza, oh, you take a break, everything mm-hmm. will fall apart, you know. Things happen. Mm. I mean, let's take Nyashinsky, for example. Yeah. See, Alikoko Music Industry, he went, I mean, people didn't even know where he was. Yeah. And then he came back and boom. So I don't think... I think if think it's your thing, it's your, it's your thing, thing. And no one can take no it, one away, can take from it away from you. Yeah. No one can take it away from you. No one can. No one can. So I think that's usually my motivation. I usually see, at the end of the day, I believe that Nita, my destiny is like set. Mm. and meet Africa penyana na Africa as long as i know i'm putting on the work yeah. and uh, as much as na journey i'm not perfect i make mm. my own mistakes at the end of the day as long as i'm willing to learn mm. correct my mistakes True. learn relearn things will just fall into place pole Period. pole sometimes it's really really hard yeah and sometimes also you know people you know how people tell you never give up i oh. I, i think There's a way that people don't know how it affects you the process mm. also it mm. becomes overwhelming sometimes you feel like it's too much mm. nini, nini. yes you push on i'm not saying you're giving up but at the same time it's like ha huh, you feel like doing so mm. but you won't because it's your passion but also the process can be like really overwhelming that's what i'm saying it's okay to take a break yeah if doesn't you feel mean like you've given up it doesn't mean na. you're giving up mm. it just means you're taking a step back yeah. it's the same way unaweza kwa job it's really your passion mm. for example you get uh, for example like get a journalist uh, gig mm. at citizen let's say citizen for example it's a big media station mm. but nikianza maybe equal a lot of pressure on me mm. ama maybe i'm not getting what i expected there's a lot of pressure and it's affecting me mentally just because i quit mm. doesn't mean i've given up yeah it doesn't mean i've given up totally unaona because that's just a job you can always yeah. get another, another job aligned to that yeah, yeah unaona because mm. uh, let's face it kuna places zingine unaenda toxic. yes you're really trying your best but they're really toxic mm. unaona doesn't mean you've given up on your dreams just means maybe you need to take a step back you need to grow in some areas mm. or even you deserve a better opportunity yeah. than that mm. unaona because mm. you can't put yourself also in a very stressful situation na i could believe him ali unaona ina could drain you look like someone who's just dying or something too. yeah a zombie yeah. always just waking up it's work mm. unaona so i think up on the middle line mm. and that's that's how I, i i took a break from writing because i was like okay was i have this people you? yeah it was cuz to me it's personal mm. so if it's a point i have my own personal issues Yes, I'm supposed to deliver something. Yeah. To write. My writing was really about motivating people. Mm. It was about showing people that no matter what whatever is happening, just know that you're not alone. Unona. Yeah. So, it got to point I was also going through my own issues. Mm. So, kuikatu chini kuandika it took forever. Mm. So, the moment the last piece I wrote was my most emotional, my most everything piece it was very very personal and mm. that was in your family media it was very very personal and uh, i think after that i i realized that it's okay like it's okay just let it go mm. sort yourself out and then things will fall into mm. place you know it doesn't mean i've given up on writing i mean i feel like i have a lot of talents that i've not put into place yeah but it really doesn't mean i've given up for example i love drawing yeah but i have a, also a passion for art you know hey. just because i I can't start drawing right now ni compete na watu wenyewe make it doesn't mean I can't put my effort somewhere else I can put it in art you know yeah. mm. so yeah I think that's 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 up on the ilikuwa breaking point yangu yeah. tukiongelea breaking point that was it because yeah. I used to struggle a lot I'm like I need to write something I haven't ri- written something in weeks yeah. I used to sit down na kana phone yangu I usually just use my phone to write Yeah na fungwa not bad yangu I'm trying to write nothing nothing Comes. is coming yeah, writing Or is not that I write easy because I also have that experience with the script mm. writing because you know that that one is like crazy because the ideas the vision you have in your head is not the same as writing it yeah. so kuna vile it has to come together and putting it into writing is like crazy mm. and you know people will tell you ah sasa kitu ya 8 minutes una take how long to write like months but it can be really crazy like, cuz una take like like na kuboko kiniambia it it has taken you to write a uh, script yeah like, like eight a months 8 months i swear wow now you know nilikuwa nishafika halfway you mm. know the last part ndio haikuwa ina come to me like mm. ilikataka kabisa 
I had to just leave it yeah. and then ni focus on other exactly. things. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And you know me the way I am. Mm. Like ni, the <laughs> moment I left it I was like sasa shwali ni nini because I want to do it faster faster. Mm. I think also that pressure sometimes can be crazy. Yeah. You pressure yourself too much. Mm. Yeah. So I think we have really covered about the breaking points and when when is it too much because yeah. I feel like it was something we really needed to talk about. Yeah. Kwanza if you are really experiencing it. And na in adulting, I may hey. tell you. That's how I cuz I was like it was ile processing ndo umemaliza uni, ndo mm. unaanza job, kutafuta job nini nini. Mm. Just kind of hard cuz you're like okay, it's a new environment. I swear. You have not been here before. Hey. You you no, need to actually adapt life. fast. Yeah. You know, so I was like I live a point in that Jambia by this is you don't have to to be so hard on yourself. Yeah. As much as you're also trying to pass a message to others, you also need to take care of yourself, Nona. So mm. breaking point zuko hapo. When you say my you don't have to like totally give up. Yeah. But then you can take some time off mm. or even change the system. Change mm. the system, uh maybe try another system. Mm. You s- don't give up. That's If true. you can't really don't. Yeah, mm. and also peer us the raw penyuko. If it's a good even if it's paying you whatever, mm. pay like pennies try to grow from there mm. from there what what can you do uneza work towards if it's a good uh, it's a good uh, maybe organization can you work if you on top mm. if you on top maybe if you up you can change things and at least find a better opportunity mm. plus the more you're growing the more you're getting to interact with kind of different people mm. and up maybe ndo utapata msemo ya atakupeleka kwa hiyo career yako so i think that's that's it for me yeah mm. mhm mm. And I think that's a really nice conversation yeah, we have had nice. today. I really didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah. It was really nice. Not yeah. to cheers. drink, but cheers. When do you cook drink? Me, me, my drink is always on my hand. <laughs> And it's almost over. Yeah, it's up and also. I sip too. Anyway, guys, uh, we, f- we felt like it was an uh, impactful conversation. Yeah. Mm. And you know, sometimes if you're f- experiencing things, talking it out is like, at least you feel away because yeah. you feel like okay peer wherever you think the same way and it's actually nice to hear someone else also experiencing mm. that mm. and we like talk it out and i'm sure many people are at that phase right yeah. now yeah so yeah but anyways it was a good episode i know yeah. it was nice uh-huh. i really didn't expect it to be this nice it was yeah. really nice <laughs> yeah it was nice anyway hey tuna tuna coming through mm. hey manzi sisi ni content creators man <laughs> I could have to diesel the text that yes our content creator like at I didn't even think my, of myself like that yeah. but you know what I take yeah, it on the yeah. on the title yeah. on the title of the way <laughs> thank okay, you guys, guys so much and just for being there for yeah. your support for always mm, kwa inbox na mm-hmm. tuambia good stuff i mean we appreciate that a lot yeah yeah Yeah. Tuna appreciate and for sana. For my guests to yeah, come through. I feel like yeah, our schedules are crazy, yeah. but we should really bring another yeah. guest. We need another guest yeah. very soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we've been crazy busy. Yeah. But Aki I'm proud of us because we always come through. Eh, yeah. our cameraman pia na coming through. Man. Mapema ndio best. A team ndio team. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thank you so much guys. Yeah, yeah keep it uh, young force podcast always. Good vibes. Wait, usi sau ku subscribe, uh, share, like, aki comment, share, 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 comment, please no share. share. Mm. Comment and if you have uh, maybe an a topic you want us to talk about, yeah. just let us know. Yeah. Yeah, we will know. always fix it somewhere. Yeah. Na tuta come through. Tuta come through. Yeah. Otherwise, thank you so much and uh, adios. Bye. Adios. <laughs> Bye-bye. Excellent. Mm. Young force.